Nama Om Vishnupadaya Krishnastaya Bhutali Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namani Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pacharani Nirvasesha Shunduari Paskachadi Satarani Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adaita Gadadhar Sri Vasadi Go Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare I want to speak this morning from the seventh canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, 13th chapter, The Behavior of a Perfect Person, 27th verse. Srimad Bhagavatam here says, the actual form of life for the living being is one of spiritual happiness, which is real happiness. Everyone searches for happiness. That's not wrong. We are meant to be happy. Bhagavatam then says, this happiness can be achieved only when one stops all materialistic activities. Prabhupada points out in the purport that the Mayavadis they say this material world is unreal, therefore we want to stop all material activity. And the verse here says material sense enjoyment is certainly imagination. It's unreal. But you see, if we stop there, we're left with nothing. It's a void. Our nature is to seek happiness. And if we don't find happiness, we're going to keep seeking. Unless one finds a source of happiness that is not material, he cannot stop trying to enjoy material things. The nature of the living being is to seek happiness. And unless he finds happiness in spiritual activities, he must come again to material activities. What are those spiritual activities that actually produce happiness? Well, how do try, people try to find material happiness? They try to serve their senses. But the beginning of spiritual knowledge is we are not these senses. We are not this material body. In his purport, Srila Prabhupada uses the example of Sri Arjuna. Arjuna found happiness in fighting for Krishna. Fighting for serving the senses is certainly materialistic activity. But fighting to serve the satisfaction of the senses of Krishna is spiritual activity. And long as we engage in activities for satisfying this material body, these material senses, we're on the material plane and we're bound by the laws of material nature. But as soon as we surrender to Krishna and agree to follow his instruction, as Sri Arjuna did, Krishna said, fight for me. And we have to work for Krishna. So Sri Arjuna or Sri Narada Muni, is citing the example of the Python man here as a man who found happiness not just by ceasing all material activity, but by engaging in the service of Krishna. The living being cannot be inactive. That is not possible. But we have a choice as to whether we perform material activities or spiritual activities. When we serve the material body, we are under the laws of material nature and we are bound in, in, by the reactions of material activities. But when we, are, we surrender to Krishna and do all that we do for his satisfaction, we are liberated. We are on the spiritual platform. 
That was Krishna's instruction to Sri Arjuna. All that you do, all that you eat, all that you offer, do as a sacrifice for me. So if we want to be successful, if we want to be happy, we have to come under the instruction of Krishna and work for his satisfaction. Even to do very philanthropic and benevolent activities by material calculation, if they're for our own satisfaction, they're material. It is only when we surrender to Krishna and work under the instruction of Krishna or his representative that we can be on the spiritual platform and work for their satisfaction. Are there any questions? Krishna may not be here physically, but he is here spiritually. And he is here th represented physically by the, his representative, the bona fide spiritual master. You can consult the spiritual master. He will tell you what Krishna wants. India used to be under the British Empire. And although the king was in Great Britain, he was represented here by his viceroy. When the citizens of India approached the viceroy, it was as good as approaching the king. And when they delivered their taxes, to the viceroy, it was as good as delivering them to the king. The viceroy never kept any of the taxes for himself. He delivered them to the king. Similarly, the spiritual master does not appropriate any of the worship or whatever the disciple gives him for himself, but he delivers it to Krishna. And as the uh, Viceroy delivered the word of the king to the people. Similarly, the spiritual master delivers the word of Krishna to his devotees. Therefore, Krishna says in the Gita, just approach the bona fide spiritual master and inquire from him submissively. The self-realized spiritual master will import knowledge to you because he has seen the truth. And what is that truth? The truth is that all living beings are my parts and parcels. They are in me. They are mine. We are not meant for service to the material body. We are meant for service to Krishna, of whom we are part and parcel. In our material body, we have many parts. They all work together for the satisfaction of the whole. Similarly, we should all work together for the satisfaction of Krishna, of whom we are all part and parcel. Hare Krishna. Bhakti Pad, my question is half answered. My other part of this question is that in this situation also, Krishna had kept you away from all your disciples for 18 long years. And now you have come after 18 years where we are actually able to, you know, serve you and serving you, uh, thereby serving Krishna. Why are you doubting Krishna? Do you doubt that Krishna does everything in the best way possible? He is God. He can do whatever he wants. And he does the best for everyone. 
I'm a little excited. <laughs> Trust Krishna. That's why I say thank you, Krishna, for now as it is. How do I use it in the best way for your service, Lord? I'm confident you have a perfect plan. I trust you and I'll be patient to understand and to persevere. Okay. He's asking in difficulties we go to spiritual master and if our problem is not solved and we find some other guru and we go to that guru and uh, if our problem is still not solved and we find there is another big guru and we go and our problem is still not solved. That's because you're not recognizing your real problem. The real problem is material desire. The real problem is a desire that is different from the desire of Krishna different from the desire of his representative, the bona fide spiritual master. Surrender means to dis surrender your desires to his desire. There is no problem when you're surrendered. All right, Hare Krishna, thank you.